Hey guys, it's going to be again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I want to show you the status of my app so far, an application that I'm working on, Augmented Reality. I show you in the previous videos what I've been adding, such as effects that I can add, portals, weather conditions, snow, stars. So in this video, I wanna show you the improvements that I made on the drawing functionality for the app, and now how I can actually make sure that the position and location of these components are in augmented reality. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I have so far for the augmented reality app. You can see that I'm tracking and placing planes, and I can also draw now. I have the functionality working on the on the previous version, I, I, I was able to draw, but I couldn't keep the position and location of augmented reality of these lines. So now that part, it's all working. You can see that I'm drawing and I'm drawing a base and I can move around and you can see how everything is just, is just basically precise in respect to where I am. I have a lot of bugs in the app, I'm gonna be honest. I still need to do a lot of different things. So in this one, I'm basically resizing the line and I need to smooth out the line, so that's something that I'm working on, on improving. For now, I think it's it works well. Also, as you can see, I can draw dots, I can get in and get close, which is what I'm doing. I'm basically just showing you perspective in relation to the augmented reality world. Here I'm just, you know, drawing and, and just, you know, doing different things. Let me fast forward a little bit so you can see. So here I'm like getting really close to the ground and I'm just drawing a few points and then stepping back and that way you can see that everything is based on the, the location of the augmented reality world so that, that part is working is working really well. And if I if I fast forward it, so here I'm trying to create a, an effect so I show you that on the previous video but I wanted to show you the combination of the two so now I have you know I have snow falling down or, or rain whatever you want to call it and I also have, you know, drawings that are steady, they're trackables, they're objects that are being tracked by the AR system. And then what I'm doing is, okay, I'm going to draw and now I have particles coming down and, and get close to that plate. And I, I think I just want to, you know, cover that caution, just make sure that I don't see it. And, and I'm just experimenting. I'm going to draw a line around the boundaries of, these, of, of, of this thing on the wall. And then yeah and then i just walk in and then you can see that i do the same thing with the door and and then that's basically the whole video so i added a lot of things to this implementation i still it's still not quite right but it's way better than it was when i showed you last time because all i could do last time was draw and place effects but the draw points were in you know in, in augmented reality they were just draw in a two in a 2d plane so some of the things that I added that I want to show you is I want to show you some of the line improvements, specifically how you can test now, how we can test in the in Unity without actually having to go to the and actually deploy to the application. So I also added different modes. So as you can see here, I have a mode that it's going to allow me to toggle between effects, which is this icon. And if I press it, it's going to go into draw. The default mode that I have if I were to play this I can show you. It's going to be the draw because I want people to play with the draw functionality first and that's going to be basically the default. So if I start drawing you're going to see that that's the icon that shows at the beginning so I can say you know I can say hello or I can start drawing in here and I have in the functionality I have something that it's going to in AR we use what's called reference points and reference points allow us to create objects and add objects that are trackable, meaning that AR and, a, and a AR kid or AR core are going to keep track of these objects. So if I'm drawing, if I play, if I place effects, if I do anything, that's what I'm using behind the scenes. I'm using a reference point in making sure that as I draw, those get added as trackable so that we have information about them in AR. Otherwise, everything is just going to move around and, and it's not going to be accurate. So this is one part and you know if I go here and I change to effects you can't really select anything and I haven't really implemented a way to do effects in 2D but that's how that works basically you are in effect mode so that means that you need to go here and then just go ahead and 
go through all the different effects that I have. So you can go to the portal in a have effect or comet effect or at the or at the stars that I added. I call it rain, but it's actually it was actually meant to be stars. And or I can have the portal cave effect, or I can go in and add snow. This one is a little bit buggy. I need to I need to improve it and, and actually fix a couple of things because for some reason it's not drawing correctly. And I think it's because some of the scale scaling that I have set up. And then of course the sun effect that I added previously. I'm gonna be adding more, like I said on the previous video. So that's one one part of the puzzle. I can also clear all the lines just like I did before. The implementation changed a bit and I had to change that code. But if I were to draw something, if I go into drawing mode and I say, you know, H and I go into here and I want to change the color, I can change the color. It's going to change the color of the new lines. That part I haven't implemented it yet. And I think I also broke the random color preview because this was working on the previous video. For some reason it didn't. It's not working anymore. But the reset is also not working. It looks like I oh, actually it's actually working. It looks like I didn't break that. But if I go and change the brush size to say, you know, something big, say that I draw everything over the UI, and now the UI is white, and I go into clear all the lines, it's going to clear it. If I go and reset the brush, it's going to reset it. So that part is working. I think the default has to be smaller, specifically because in AR, this is going to be, I think, 0 0.03. It's a good size, but 0 0.5 is, is just way, I think I have 0.5. Oh, 0 0.05, it's too big. So we want to go with a low with a low number as default. So I need to change that. I'll show you how to change that. And yeah, so that's that's basically it. So I can do, I can draw, I can add basically effects, just like I show you. I can add motions. I haven't implemented this. I can add basically different placements if I want to place this, you know, as a single object, meaning that, and this is more towards effects. So if I want to place multiple effects in the scene, I can. If I want to add constraints, I can. So that's basically that implementation. So let's go back into drawing. And let's say that I draw something in here. And I want to show you some of the settings that I have for this. And, and also what's cool about this is I can now I can now test this in the in Unity without having to build. So I wasn't able to do that. I was able to do it, but not with the new implementation. So that's all being, you know, that was all, be, all re rework from the previous video. So as you can see, I have multiple rain renders because I lift, I left, uh, I lift my hand. So if I were to delete this manually, I can do that too, and I can just you know draw. And as I'm drawing, I'm creating a, a new line render. So and some of these settings come from the settings that I have on the draw manager, and you can see I have corner vertices, I have end cap vertices, I have the material that I'm going to be using. The reason why I assign a material is so that you can see it, but also that I can go into the menu and I can assign a new random a random color. So I'm basically saying, okay, what is the random color that was selected and then override the color that we have on the material. So that's that piece and then I also have to change because I'm using the universal render pipeline. I need I needed to change the way that the materials were set up. So this was using a standard and the materials were showing as purple. So I went in and changed this to use the only color, which actually works well for that look that I want for the lines. So that's what that is. And then, yeah, and basically this is all the lines. So if I go, if I go here and I expand this and I clear the lines, I can see that we're clearing everything. So if we go into the AR session origin, you can see that this is my new draw manager. It's the same name as I have before. I just brought in another implementation that I have that I have created for a VR implementation and that I show you guys on the Oculus development videos. So I can still do most of the same things that I have distance from the camera. This is how far I'm gonna be, like it says, from the camera. So if I wanted to change this to be, you know, f further from the camera, I could do two. And then if I go and draw, you can see that the, the lines are much smaller because that's not the size of the line, that is how far it is from the camera. So if I were to change it closer, you can see that now it's much bigger. So let me go ahead and remove those lines. And it looks like we crash Unity. And I, I seen that happening. It crashes a couple of times when I'm when I'm playing around with lines. But to be honest, that's, that's basically everything that I wanted to show you. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I'm that I'm mentioning, let me know. For the most part, I wanted to give you 
just an update of what I have so far on the app. And then, you know, I'm gonna be working on improving the lines, making it with better curvature, and then making sure that, you know, the lines work well. Right now, when, when I draw, the lines are getting, if I touch a UI component, the, the lines are getting drawn, and I don't want that to happen. But uh, there's, you know, there's some things that I need to improve. So that's everything that I have today. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.